Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Disney, your teacher. I hope everyone's having a great morning. Good morning, Nehemiah. Good morning, Zion. Good morning, Tyrese. And good morning, Ivy. How are you and your families doing today? Hope y'all enjoyed your breakfast and having a great start to the morning. Would everybody like to hear a story with Miss Tiffany? Is that a yes? Great. All right. Our first story is called Corduroy's Shapes. What does Corduroy got? Does he have a kite? Do y'all like to play with kites? We fly the kites in the sky, right? Up in the sky. Corduroy's got um, green eyebrows. He looks happy, Donnie. Yes, he's smiling. Let's turn the let's turn the page up. Let's turn the page and see what's next. Oh, what's he got? Does Corduroy have a blanket? What do you think he's gonna do with the blanket? Hmm. Let's see. One square blanket. He's got a square blanket. He's placing it on the ground. It's the shape of a square spread upon the ground. Let's count the shape, the size of the shape together. One, two, three, four. And that is a square. Can you say square with me? Square. Look here. This little boy has birthday present. I think it's about to be a party. I wonder. Let's see. And there's balloons. Let's count the balloons together. One, two, three. Three balloons. Balloons are round. Their shape is round. Let's call let's see what color the balloons are. Pink, blue, and orange. Hmm. She's carrying on a cake. Hmm, wonder what they're gonna do. It says birthday balloons, colorful and round. Hmm, it might be a party. We'll have to see. Let's turn the page. <gasps> Corroy's happy. Wonder why he's happy. Hmm. What did she bring? She brought some yummy snacks. Yummy plum tarts. Triangles. They're the shape of a triangle. To share with her friends. Shape triangles have one, two, three sides. And the tr and the plum tarts are purple. Can you say purple? Can we count the tarts together to see if we got enough for all the kids? One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. Must have six friends at our party. Let's see. Let's turn the page. She's going to put the plum tarts down on the blanket. And he's putting the balloons on the blanket. And a sweet circle cake. She brought a birthday cake. I bet it's somebody's birthday. Hmm. You think it's cool Roy's birthday? Since he's the first page on the front. Probably. Dolly made with care. And it's circle cake. And it's pink. Yummy. Does everybody like cake? Mmm, I love cake. It sure tastes good. Let's turn the page and see what's next. <gasps> Puppy brings berries to eat. Yum! Bunny brings a snail friend. Look there, she brought a snail friend. And look, they are playing with the kite. Snail brings kites for his friends to play with. Diamond is the shape of a kite. See? Let's count the diamond together. One, two, three, four. A diamond has four socks. It is the shape of a kite. Let's turn the page. Look! They're having, they are having a party. A gift for Corduroy, and it is Corduroy's birthday. Corduroy's opening his birthday present in a rectangle box. Look, 
The box is the shape of a rectangle. Let's count the sides of a rectangle together. One, two, three, four. It has four sides. Let's count the friends and see how many friends we have to share the cake with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven friends to share berries and cake with. Yay! Let's turn the page and see what's next. It's Pokey Dot Socks. He's having Pokey Dot Socks as his birthday present. Yay! What color are the socks? Are they red? They are red. Oh boy, he's so happy. He's smiling. He's happy that he got socks for his birthday. Let's turn the page. The end. Did y'all enjoy that story? Miss Tiffany enjoyed that story. That was a great story, wasn't it, guys? All right. Let's see what story we're going to read next. Want to hear another story? Yay! Hi, it's Tiffany again. The Lunchbox Surprise is the story we're going to read next. Let's count the friends together. One, two, three, four. There's four friends on this page. <gasps> I wonder what kind of lunchbox surprise we're going to have. Let's turn the page and find out. Yum, it's lunch time. It's time for lunch. It's time to eat, the teacher said. Now take your seat. Turn the page. My lunch is the best, says Jane and Pam. I wonder what kind of lunch she's going to have. Let's turn the page and find out. And Kim and Dan had lunch. Ooh, what kind of lunch are y'all going to have today, children? And Max and Sam are going to have lunch, too. Sam's got to tie his shoes so he doesn't fall and get hurt. Let's turn the page and see what we got. Jan has the peanut butter bread and jam sandwich. That sounds yummy. And she's got milk to drink. Milk makes it strong, don't it, guys? Let's turn the page and see what else we're going to have. Pam has soup. Mmm. Dan has ham sandwich. Ooh, sounds good. Let's turn the page and see what else they're going to eat. Kim has tuna, toast, and cheese with orange juice. Mmm, does that sound good and yummy and healthy, doesn't it? Let's see what else they're going to eat. Max has chicken, rice, and peas. Mmm. I like to eat that. That sounds really good, don't it, guys? Let's see what else they're going to eat. Let's turn the page. <gasps> but Sam has nothing. Not a spot. Sam has forgot. His mommy forgot. <gasps> oh, no. I bet you think somebody's going to help him out. I think so. Think the teacher might give him something to eat. Let's see. Let's turn the page and find out. Because he's hungry too. Sam is surprised. Sam is sad. Sam is hungry. Sam is mad. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Sam can stop with something to eat. But Max, Kim, Jan, Dan, and Pam feel sorry for their sad friend Sam. Let's see if we can find him some food to eat. Jan gives Sam peanut butter, bread, and jam. She's sharing her sandwich. Do you share your uh, sandwich with your brothers and sisters and your mommy and dad? Does mommy and daddy give you something to eat? Yes, they share their food with you, and you can share your food with them. That's being nice and thankful. Let's see what else he's going to give. Pam gives him some soup. Dan gives him ham. Kim gives him tuna, toast, and cheese. Max gives him chicken, rice, and peas. 
Oh, how nice! They're sharing their lunch with him. Now, Sam is not sad, and Sam is not mad. This is the best lunch Sam, Sam has ever had. Yay! That was so sweet. That was the best lunch he had because his friends shared with him, and they loved him just like you love your friends and you love your sisters and brothers and mommy and daddies and grandma and grandpas. Thank you for reading with me, boys and girls. I had a great time. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening. Bye.